Welcome to Highway 30. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah, and we're here to help you get creative. Today, we are going back to rope bowls. Yay! Rope bowl, bowl basketball. Rope bowl, basketball baskets, bowls with bowls. lids. With lids. This is fun. Yes, we are going to enlist mom again to come back and make some bowls, and she's gonna show us how she adds, how she makes a little lid for the bowl. Yeah. And so this is going seasonal. Yes, a bit there. We're gonna start with her favorite clothesline. We have this question a lot yep. on our other video with her. The standard that she always uses is this clothesline from Walmart. Mm -hmm. It is the 3 16th inch by 100 foot clothesline. Yep. Cotton, but with the cotton and polyester blend, and it's ideal for not hanging clothes. Ripples. Exactly. So Duh. if you need to hang your clothes on clothesline <laughs> and you can't find any, it's because it, yeah, that's mom's mom got it, it all. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, her trick is using the one that has the poly inside so that her bowls tend to be a little stiffer than some of them you might see or make with the 100% cotton yeah. clothesline. Yep. So we're gonna take this and then we're gonna do our other favorite thing. We're gonna dye it sunshine. Yay, we but, love to bring sunshine in. Yeah, actually we're gonna call it, we're dyeing it pumpkin because we're making little pumpkins today. Okay, so now we have all the rope dyed, dyed and dried. I don't mind, like there is a little bit of a variation, mm -hmm. but I think because of what we're doing, pumpkins are natural. They're not perfectly not orange. I thought about doing a second dye mm -hmm. and fixing that, but mm -hmm. decided no, I actually like it, so we're gonna leave it. Another thing we have to try are some different threads. So we do have a plain orange, and then like a variegated orange, and a variegated green. So we'll decide what mom wants to do as she's sewing and might do a little bit of uh, testing and variety with this. Yep. You need my good scissors. Oh, oh no, if it's got brown on it, I cut that off too. There. Yeah, there we go. And easy to find there. Don't don't whisper, then I can put your voice on here. Everybody wants to hear what you sound like. Start with a tight little coil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to a certain, whatever size you're comfortable with. Don't get bigger because you don't have to stitch the whole width of it. All right, let's show what settings we use. So we want to do a straight stitch. So straight we put stitch. zero and then this is the length of the stitch. I'm just going to start two on two because I do a straight stitch to begin. Then we'll go to the zigzag. Awesome. <laughs>
and now I always just stitch back to where I want to start doing my zigzag stitch. And I'll go over some of that. Probably start right about there. Now to make it, we don't have to change this, but we change this to the size we want for the zigzag. We'll start with three, and then that's probably pretty good right there. So let's see how big that is. Oh, that's a good, that's a good size. Yeah, that's cool. And this should be good because it is exactly the same brand and size thread. You can't really mix a completely different thread on your bobbin with one on the top. It, okay. it might not stitch right, but these are exactly the same threads. They're just different colors. So now we're trying to decide when to start making the curve for the smallest pumpkin. It's gonna flare out from this. So this is not how big around it's gonna be. It'll okay. come out from here and go up. And so I think I'm gonna start just barely lifting it to start giving it just a little bit of curve. Okay. There go. Sometimes, sometimes <clears throat> I do, I'll put a pin in that points to the side where I started lifting it up and it lets me know how many times I've been around. Like I can look at that and tell. Oh, okay. This is, this is where I started lifting it up and it, that kind of helps. And when I set it in, you can see, it's just slightly starting okay. to curve up a little bit. And on the other hand, if you're trying to make something flat, this is why it's so important that you don't lift it up. <laughs> exactly. You just, With your hand. So you can see. Now yeah. you can really clearly see. Then I can start stretching on it and it makes it curve in a little bit more. But I think it needs to be taller than this. Don't oh, definitely. Yeah. I like the colors on the outside. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to start doing this now too. If you stretch on this as you're sewing it, it tends to draw it in some when you get to where you really can't push it up anymore. Okay. And well, and I can still reach under here, but I'm going to pull on this. Oh, it's looking like a pumpkin. It is. Curving in. It doesn't want to, but I'm making it. And the top we add to it, it'll add a little bit more it'll height. Add height. this and then what I do flat. Yeah. I stretch it stretch that back there and then cut this and then stretch that back out and, and it's flat yeah so it makes it easier Now 
just shape it up a little bit. <laughs> and there's the back, so we'll put the back. And that's so cute, but wait, let's make it cuter. Because of the way that we do this, yeah, way that we do this area in the beginning, you can push it in and out really easily. <gasps> Pumpkin! Oh She did such a nice job. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> These are adorable. They are. Now, they, the only thing they need is a little handle on top. They need a handle. Yeah. And we have, thanks to Zero Landfill, samples. Lots of leather samples. Yes. It's very exciting. Like, we can't pass on the leather. No, we always take the and leather. We've got all the leather. <laughs> Sorry, if you go, you're not going to get any leather. <laughs> We're going to take it. Yeah. So, we thought little leather handles for the stems. Yeah. Cute idea. Cute idea. Let's do it. The mini mat cutter. And scissors that aren't fabric scissors. Ooh. And tagage. Yeah. Baby. Bless you. <laughs> Cut. Did that feel good? Okay. Yes, it did. <laughs> Two inches, so it'll end up being one inch yeah. tall. Yeah. And then there's the hot glue on. Got a hot glue on. Yeah. <laughs> it did feel really good. I said what? half of an inch. You did say half of an inch. Oh, but if we do this way, then we've got our two inches, and then we can go and half then go inch half. Inch. I think that's what you meant to do. But uh, I don't know if I can lift it over here. Oh, okay. Half an inch. This is our handy um, Dollar Tree mat that I got when the Dollar Tree was still a dollar. So I got mine for a dollar too. Yeah. Not a dollar too, but a dollar <laughs> also. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it is a very nice. Yeah, it's satisfying. 
There you go. Close that up. Safety. Done here. And with that, don't you love when she did these? So she sewed them in a little dome, but this first section, because of the way that you start the rope bowls with the cross at the, mm -hmm. in the middle, they just squish in, and then it really looks like a pumpkin. It really looks like a pumpkin. It pump pumpkinizes it. <laughs> pump a pumpkin. <laughs> so I'm thinking all of that to say, shouldn't the stems go this way? Yeah. All right. Hot glue time. Hot glue time. This is like concentration. It's like I've got one shot. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna hold it there. Until it dries. It's drying. We're so glad that you joined us today to see this transformation. We hope you enjoyed watching us, and if this inspires you to create something similar, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And while you're there, please click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. Bye.